Judge, today's case is six feet under. She was a guard, he was an inmate. They've been husband and wife for seven years. And based on what I've read in here, I can't believe they made it that long. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toler presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Alicia Dukes and Dexter Dukes. Mr. and Mrs. Dukes, you have been together for nine years, married for seven, and you have two children together, and you both have children from previous relationships. Mrs. Dukes, you have brought Mr. Dukes here today seeking $1,500 for a 2002 Ford Expedition. We will talk about that momentarily, but before we do, Mrs. Dukes, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here in divorce court today? Yes, ma'am. So we got Mr. Big Chill Dexter Dukes over here. <laughs> Ex-felon that survived all of that. And if he does not get his health together, he gonna end up six feet under. His health? Yes, his What's health. wrong with him? Everything in life, I understand we all got health issues. But when it comes to my husband, the, the seizures, the migraines, the, the overeating, I mean, the blackouts, everything. It's like, it's, it's like too much. Mm -hmm. And how do you not wake up from that? Mr. Dukes, she says you're not well. Do you agree? Yeah, I might not uh, be like at the best hell, but with <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Mr. Dukes, I understand, I understand. Let, let, let me help you out a little bit. <laughs> let me help you out a little bit. You have health concerns, but you're not really into doctors. I mean, not really, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm, I mean, I was in a, a state of depression because, you know, I lost my mom and stuff, you feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I went through some shit. I mean, some stuff. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 and her nagging. Wait, 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 wait. No, when did you lose your mom? A few years back. Okay. But I can't, I mean, you know, that's my mom, my, my only child, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to let that go. Oh, I know. I lost my mom. I, 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 I get how that feels. What keeps you from going to the doctor, though? Or do you go, you just claim, and, and you believe her claims maybe are I, maybe I might be scared of my, what he might say. He, last time I, I was in the hospital, they almost had me hostage taking spinal tap. So, you know, I went through, we went through some things. I don't trust them like that. You don't trust them like that. No. But you do know that you're not, I mean, do you agree that you have seizures, migraines, you're overeating, you have blackouts? You, you, you're living with all of that. Two is that accurate? Three. Two out the three. Two out the three. Which <laughs> one is not true? You don't overeat, I bet. That's what you're going to tell nah, me. I might not have the blackouts. You don't know. I might overeat as much of me. I might, you know what I'm saying? You don't know. I, I might. Aren't you worried about your health? No. I'm worried about you. I just met you. No, nah, he ain't worried about it. He ain't worried about it. She don't know what it is. She, she, gonna, she gonna ask a question and answer. That's what she do. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, she said. You... He, he said. As part of his problem is your nagging. Do you nag him? Yes. Yes. I got. What do you nag him about? I mean, what is a wife supposed to do? You supposed to stay on top of. Then you gotta breathe sometime. Get your foot off my neck. Why? What the hell? You know what? I don't want to wake up next to a dead man. That's right. why I push so hard. I'm your biggest supporter. I've been your friend. I've been down with you from day one. Sometimes you're my biggest Bonnie enemy. And, and, Clyde. and sometimes you're my Bonnie biggest and Clyde. enemy. And sometimes you're my biggest Bonnie enemy. And it's been Bonnie and Clyde to the end, right? If I could roll with you through all that, let me tell you how we met. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was a correctional officer at a halfway house. Uh-huh. He the inmate. Okay. Everybody telling me, don't mess with inmate Dukes, don't mess with inmate Dukes, he's a big problem when you ain't here. I don't care about none of that. Y'all give me, you know, the rule book, I read the rule book. What's so special about him? He, he, when I say he got a big man head complex, I'm talking about, yeah, yeah, I'm gangster, I'm this, I'm that. Ain't nobody <laughs> finna mess with me. Okay, I got you. I put him on chore duty, made him do laundry. If he didn't want to do it, I didn't clear count. They didn't want to confiscate his stuff. I did. I took his porn and everything. I didn't care about none of that. Who are you for you not to be treated like everybody else? Me. Whatever. Now, Mr. Dukes, could nobody do anything with you except her? Tell, uh, tell, tell the truth, Mr. Oh, Dukes. Tell, you. tell the truth, because... You married her. Yeah, but, but then she wasn't, she, she wasn't cool back then. She wasn't cool? She wasn't cool. She was the police. She was the police? Right. <laughs> I get that part. I get that. But at some point, she left. She she went from being a police to being your wife. How'd that happen? I'm still trying to figure it out. Too. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Don't get me wrong, though. I love my wife. I love her. But like, like I said, like 
damn sometimes to get your foot off my neck. Let me breathe. Wait, give me an example of some of the things she does or says that gets on your last nerve. Give an example. Come on. You like what? It's, it's hard making a transition from a hustler to a husband. Right. You know what I'm saying? And this ain't the first time. This is this is Duke. Let the man now. speak. You know what I'm saying? And, and for some reason, in her mind, she thinks we're gonna be living the happy ever after ride on a horse, boy. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Not <laughs> now. You know what I'm saying? I we, appreciate your attempts to watch your we, language. We might be riding in the back of a police car because sometimes it's going to be hard. I just want to be happy and have, have my wife and my kids. Uh-huh. You just want to be cool. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, like, leave me the hell alone. I, oh, well, now, wait mm, a minute. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, leave you alone. What huh? did you expect your marriage to be I didn't like? think she was going to be nagging Nelly. <laughs> nagging Nelly? You know what I'm saying? Is it always about the health or is it other things too? So we might have palms in the bedroom, say for instance. Uh huh. Whatever. Uh -huh. But like, uh -huh. how you getting ready to have sex with somebody and then you might say some old side busting, some side busting things, you feel me? And she, what kind of side busting things does she like, say to you? We do? might get ready to have some Do the thing, might, yeah. And, and then she might bring up some, I mean, some stuff that I've done in the past. Uh -huh. that, that pissed her, I mean, that pissed her off, you feel me? Right, right, like, right. Why would you bring it up right now when it. We trying to get busy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't, that ain't finna make me want to like... Yeah, you know I, I got you, I got you. Do you know when to speak and when not to speak? Hell or do no, you know what... Hell no, she don't. Hell no, she don't. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no, she don't. Mrs. Dukes, do you know what to say when and when not to say what? When I respect you, I do. Mm -hmm. Are you going to tell me you don't respect Mr. Dukes? Half of the time, no. Let's, let, let's just say this. When it comes down to financial responsibilities, he'll talk about a good game. Oh, I'm going to handle this. We're going right, to handle right. this and everything like that. You know, I done seen in the beginning how he was responsible like that. He took care of everything for his family and his homies and stuff like that. But now we married. And why is it that if I go to a retreat and I leave you with the money for the rent, it don't get paid? You act like I I mean, messed it off. I still had the money. Well, I you didn't want to stand in the long line. Oh, so well, that was I an still had the money. You act like I, I mean, messed it off. Like, yeah, it, it ain't about messing it off. I never said you messed okay, off so the what, money. What the it's problem the problem fact is? that what the it's, it's the fact that well, you can't handle bills on time. You can't handle nothing on time. You laxy daisy. What I gotta okay, take I'm my stuff. Now, Miss Dukes, come back. Even come when back, he come get back. ready, he got. I'm having more trouble time. restraining you than him. At least he's trying. I'm sorry. Now, I'm sorry. Now, now, Mr. Mr. Duke, she was upset because you didn't pay the rent. You know, she's not saying that you, you messed the money off, but that you just didn't take care of it, and she Why wants to know that you did. I mean, okay, I made a mistake. Why is you making it make me that such an issue? Now, if I messed the money off, then I you could get down my throat. Right. But when you came back from the retreat, where the money was at? Right there. Right. So then let's talk about when you do mess the money off. I was crazy. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me, Judge. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I mean, really, I mean, I can understand the mistake, but you should know better than to incriminate yourself with video I, I was day. stupid. I was stupid. She's, she's contending that, uh, you work and you do things to get money, but she never sees money. What is your response to that? I mess off sometimes. You mess off sometimes? Yeah, we from D Vegas, we, you know, so, so we out. I'm, you have an opportunity to do a lot of wrong yes, in a lot of different, different places legally. Yes, ma'am. Does it ever occur to you that it might shut her up if you didn't mess up? It don't matter if I brought it to her or not. She's still going to have something to say. Really? Yeah. Maybe because it didn't come in the time that it was allotted or it didn't come the way she wanted to come. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that's, that's how she is. Mm -hmm. You have a degree in chemical engineering, do you not? Mm. Mm. Yes, mm. ma'am. That he don't like to tell people about. For what? It don't mean <laughs> I mean stuff. <laughs> because you have a record? Yeah, because I've been to the feds. Yeah. That's a hand. I, just, they, 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 my 10 cent opinion ain't got nothing to do with you, but it's just like, how are we going to have a judicial system that, uh, that, that works if once we've punished someone, we continue to penalize them after they've gotten out so they don't have an opportunity to rejoin the workforce? You make them continue to conduct criminal behavior because you don't allow them to conduct regular behavior because you have so many constraints against you. That was not, you know, that's just my 10-cent opinion uh, from this side of the bench. But, but um, does he not... 
do anything at all because he can't do what he wants? Is that your contention? Now, he think I'm so, uh, 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 but... At one point, I got him this amazing job being head security. Right. Now, this is an opportunity of a lifetime to really make a difference. But how do you take advantage of something and disgrace us like that? And when I say disgrace, you got <laughs> from a, uh, one of the squatters around there and videotaped it and had the nerve to tell me it wasn't him. And I know your boxes. I know what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> but it ain't him, though. I Ms. made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Uh, I made a mistake. But you videotaped it. I was crazy. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me, Judge. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. I mean, really, I mean, I can understand the mistake, but you should know better than to incriminate yourself I was with I videotape. Know, I was stupid. I was stupid. Have you stopped doing the oral sex yes, of the women kind yes, of thing? And yes, how long have you been on the straight and narrow with respect to that? A few years. A few years? Yes, ma'am. Now, has he been cool for a few years and you won't let it go? No, I got uh, text messages right here. You let know, me see. From a past person. From an old complex that we just moved from before we, where we live at now. See, oh, that, that, that's his game. He got major game, Judge. When I say Mr. Deuce got major game, I threw a baby shower for one lady and then I find naked pictures in his phone of her. That wasn't for me. Somebody paid for them pictures. You... <laughs> the so the pay for them for them. How does that sound? How does that really sound? Well, Mr. Mr. Duke, Jesus, now man. you don't know, Miss uh, Nick, but let me tell you, just so you know, okay. Mr. Dukes does have game with the women. Okay. <laughs> He's got a whole baseball team that he has fathered. You got to go to the doctor. Just because they might tell you something you don't want to hear doesn't mean it's al not already killing you. They can save you. He don't actually do that. that. He don't believe that. Like, his health, I'm wife number three. Grow up. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. His children are 30, 27, 25, 24, 20, 12, 26, 18, 10, 6, and 3. Woo! And he spent some time in prison. Do you have a meaningful relationship with your kids, Mr. Dukes? No. Some yes, I some no. I do. Are you trying? I try. But you know, I'm, it, it don't work all the time. It doesn't work all the time? They love you and they need you. Never stop trying. I don't know why I like you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. I mean, there's just something about you that tickles me <laughs> and I can't figure out why. <laughs> you tell, other than nagging, what's wrong with her? Nothing. She Nothing. A good, she a good wife, a good mother to my kids. She's gorgeous. Yeah, she a bad one. Yeah, she yeah. Is. <laughs> This is so not your forum, is it, Mr. Oh, man, it's not. <laughs> not, right, your, no. not your strong suit. Mm. You try really, really hard to rein it in and keep it together, and I appreciate that, Thank Mr. You, Dukes. Girl. If I could get Mr. Dukes to do just one thing for you, what would it be? Grow up. I'm wife number three. Grow up. In what ways can he grow up for you? What does he need to do? I can tell you a couple. <laughs> I can tell you a couple. You got to go to the doctor. Just because they might tell you something you don't want to hear doesn't mean it's all not already killing you. They can save you. He don't actually do that. that. He don't believe that. Like, his health, when I say eating, sleeping, and, like, being on his phone all day, that's mainly what he do. He gonna definitely eat and and disregard what. Turn the around, Mr. Says. Dukes. Is that you? Turn around. Ain't <laughs> 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 she wrong for that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a but bunch of men like to eat. I'm sorry. I'm going to bed. I like to eat. What the hell? I mean, now, like, now, it's no problem if you got I a plate like that. that. You get another <laughs> plate like that. Another plate. Hey. Or how about? He wake up at oh 3, 4 a.m. in the oh morning and be God. engorging in food, but then wake up sick. <laughs> Mr. 
Mrs. Dukes, you're asking Mr. Dukes for fifteen hundred dollars for a two thousand two. Ford Expedition that you bought him. Why do you believe he owes you $1,500? <laughs> so we get our tax money. And the only thing that first popped in his mind, I got to go get me a stereo system, some beats, you know, because back in the day, he was in a car club. Why did that bother beats? her so much? Why did that bother her? Because instead of thinking about business opportunities or our family and stuff like that, you're thinking about some beats. But then turn around and part off the beats to people. Mess up the truck so bad that he ran the oil out of it, didn't keep up the maintenance. So now he go to jail and I have to uh, sell the truck to Nevada pick apart just to keep the lights on. So it wasn't a total waste anyway. <laughs> it paid a bill. Okay. It, it, you know, the crazy thing is, if it wouldn't have got that bad, we would have never ended up in that right. situation. We... He would have never ended up in jail. I would have never had to sell it. But that's how it is. Material things are expendable to him. That's why I turn... Like, I admit, I'm a hoarder. I try to hold on to, to everything, everything and then give it away to people that I see that I may be able to bless somebody with. He hates that. I understand that. But maybe if you cared about us doing things together, don't worry about, oh, the kids don't deserve that or, oh, we don't need to do that... It, I got it. I got you it. You can enjoy I life with it. me? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Mr. Dukes, whether this marriage ends or not, you're gonna end up with a woman because you got gang. <laughs> and any woman that you end up with is gonna wanna keep you and keep you healthy. One thing a man must surrender to is his wife's desire to keep him healthy. That's just an arena in which is, yeah, baby, I'll do it, and then go do it. Dudes who are married live on an average three years longer than dudes that are not. That's scientifically proven. Don't waste it. You got her, she's nagging, it'll shut her up, and it'll keep you living longer. You with me, Mr. Dukes? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, handle that business like a grown man. You know what I mean? You brave out there. I bet you on the street, on the corner, you ain't afraid of nothing, right? He sure ain't. <laughs> he sure ain't. But that's not being brave. Being brave is facing the stuff you are afraid of and doing it anyway. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. You with me on that? Yes, ma'am. If the brother does something right, give him a round of applause. Yeah. The world has taken a great deal from him. He might have been doing wrong in the past, but he's trying to do right right now. You love that brother. I, I do. know you do. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it's all. Learn to listen. I can't give you that $1,500 because that's something you did because you had to do to do whatever you had to do. Upon leaving him, he can't pay you for the decisions that you had to make in the course of your marriage unless he messed off the money. And that's not money he messed off. You simply had to redirect the flow. But I will say this to both of you, no matter whom you end up with, be kind, be conscientious, and be gone. Thank you. There is no recovering this matter. It is so warm. All right, Judge Lynn had a lot to say, so tell me how you're feeling. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm all right. You know, it's just that uh, he, he, he bit much, but I love him. I love him. We're going to try to work it out. But if I'm willing to do it, is he willing to do it? Right. Um, tell me if uh, Judge Lynn got through to you today, because yeah, she, she got did. a lot of advice for you. She did. Like, better than the day, I love my wife. I, you know what I'm saying? I know we've been together almost a decade. No matter how long it is, I love my wife. I don't want to lose her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to try.